All the work in our lab involves the interaction between humans and robots. So if I move like this, I'm actually not doing anything. I'm, I'm expressing something. I'm going to, here it is, right? Whatever's in my hand. You look at my hand. Yeah. You're expecting something there because I was expressive. Okay, now can I get a robot to make you look at my hand <laughs> to see if there's a rabbit there or a sandwich or whatever? Humans have tons of muscles. We have tons of sensors. We have very expressive faces. We can move our bodies in ways that are very rich in expressiveness. Robots tend to only have a few motors and a few sensors. How do we get the essence of human movement and behavior actually transferred to a robot's actuators and body. I'd like to focus on one particular project and that is our social interactions between a mobile robot and people on a sidewalk or on a space like a mall in a university. And the goal for the robot is to do tasks that are useful to people. For example, taking a package from one end of this campus to the other. You need to be able to have a robot move around so that people are not inconvenienced, so that they feel that the robot is safe and is doing the appropriate thing from a social perspective. We have to try to figure out, looking at how people navigate around other people. And then we transfer that to robots, and then we do the validation studies of did we get it right? And if we didn't get it right, how do we fix that? So as we are layering more and more capabilities on these robots, we need to be able to properly and accurately reflect how people do those tasks. And that is a really big challenge as robots are becoming better at, at being able to mimic humans.